Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I just finished working out. So now I'm all showered and going to do my morning skincare routine. A friend requested it. So I was like, why not? And also break down the book. I am currently, um, not break down, but like talk about the book. I am currently, uh, finishing up right now which is so good highly recommend it's called the 5 a.m club and it's really 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 good and i've been practicing it for like two weeks now going on three and it's actually been really life-changing and and i mean like life-changing as in you have to get up <laughs> so yeah which also like in the book means going to the gym so i just we we soaked my face with some warm water because I moisturized my body with my healing ointment this morning. And then now we're like, you know, it took a minute. So now we're like just putting that moisture back into the face and doing our routine. So my routine, my cabinets over here. I, I have all my like skincare stuff right there as of right now. So I have it right here and I'm going to, oh, there you go. So. First, I'm my lash serum. But yeah, the book is really good. It's called The 5 a.m. Club. And with The 5 a.m. Club, it's really just teaching you like how to maximize your morning to create a more effective life. And I like it. I, I used to wake up really early before at my previous corporate job. And then obviously the pandemic, so everything became super laxed. And then I stopped waking up early, so. But now I want to get back into it. So when a friend recommended the book to me, I was like, yes. So I'm going to fix you guys your look real good. And there you go. And I love it. So lash serum, and then we're going to go with another serum. But first, treatment, because my period is coming, so I'm breaking out a little bit. So, yeah, it's going to be fixed up. But, like, yeah. It's really good. It's basically you wake up, you do your best to wake up every morning at 5 a.m. and get things done. So I, so when I started, I woke up at like <laughs> 11 a.m. And then the next day was like 10 a.m. And then it was 9 a.m. So gradually, so gradually been doing this. It didn't just like happen overnight because that's a joke. That's not going to be effective. And that's one of my like to do's to be more effective this year so obviously getting more time in the day to accomplish other things that i find to be a pain in the butt throughout the day done early makes it a lot more enjoyable so yeah so i'm gonna go with my colle serum which is for acne because obviously period time means acne is gonna try you and i don't like that so i try to like put it now and everywhere i'll blend it a little bit but you yeah. know but in the morning after, so the first thing I do in the morning is I like to go to the gym. Well, not the first thing right away. The first thing I like to do is pray and meditate. So I like to pray and meditate. And then I get my workout clothes on and then I go to the gym. Thankfully, my gym opens up at 6 a.m. So I'm able to like 5 a.m. wake up, pray, meditate with the book, like, you know, it gives you different ideas, but that's, this is what I like to do. I like to wake up at five, pray, meditate. Then I like to get dressed, go to the gym for an hour. And if I feel really like meh, I'll just do like cardio for 30 minutes, which is like 30 minutes of walking, some light weights, and then lots of stretching. And then it makes it an hour or 45 minutes. And then I start my day, then I take a shower, moisturize and then after sweating which is really good for you in the morning for your brain as well i usually use either this for main wash or this in the morning to wash off like the sweat in the shower i use this and then outside of the shower if it's really sweaty i will use this out here in my sink area and then obviously shower and now this step which is lash serum acne serum and then i like to go in with either a hyaluronic acid or this new serum i got for my birthday which is a hydration serum which i think i want to put on top 
Sounds like a lot, but I'll put it where I didn't put the acne serum. So I want to just put a little bit. I like to do like one, just a little squeeze. And then I want to pat it because I already have other things on. I'm not skin expert, so don't be judging. <laughs> but um, yeah, so the book is telling you reasons of why you should wake up early and the benefits and stuff for like productivity as well as being excellent in your day. And I really think it's like a game changer because with the way the writer puts it, lays it out, it's really nice because it's like, okay, well, this is why you should sleep more. This is why you should work out. This is why, like, it gives you, like, the science behind it. So it's not just, like, you doing, you like, questioning, like, why versus it's like, oh, no, like, this is what this gives you. So it's, like, a cause and effect sort of layout, which is really nice because some of us, like, want to know the why <laughs> of what we're doing, not just assuming it's good it's like no what's the why so yeah and i'm gonna go in with this eye serum with i mean it's not a serum it's an eye cream it's for dark circles sometimes when i sleep late which i did sleep late last night so i woke up a little bit later today it was not 5 a.m but i did my best you know like for like the last two weeks i've been working about like almost 5 a.m like i would i could say like four solid days at 5 a.m and it was really nice so i'm gonna definitely try to do the same tomorrow and wake up at 5 a.m. because I like it. Get to work out early, get to make some eggs and toast and then get on my laptop and get productive. And he really talks about like getting the things that need the most of your energy done in the day, like early in the day, which is truthfully working out i find that sometimes when i work out in the afternoon i don't enjoy it i like loathe it but if i work out really early i'm like let's go i have nothing in my stomach like it's a lot more like enjoyable so i love it i actually like really enjoy working out really early in the morning and it also mentioned that if you get all those benefits which is like improves your brain improves your memory improves your health obviously and it just proves your creativity why wouldn't you do it twice a day which is like oh that is so true so i'm gonna actually try and implement like maybe like a 30 to 45 minutes additional after a work day or like right before bed which is what i did last night with a friend and that was like so good i <laughs> knocked out i was asleep when i got my like shower went to bed and i was like okay i see these benefits because it's keeping me motivated and wanting to continue so i serum now i'll go in with uh either a lotion or sunscreen and lotion but it's typically like either lotion sunscreen or sunscreen which is really what i like to use in the morning especially like before my makeup i like to use the super group one it's my favorite and i just put like a decent amount like you know just like nothing crazy and then i pat it all over my face and my neck and then i'll go in with my um makeup mm -hmm. so i like to pat it because you already put all that stuff in there on your face like are you really about to like make it wool no i want it to stay put so i like to like just put it right all on top yeah it's like an everyday lotion it has 50 spf and i really like it because i don't like wrinkles i mean there's no wrinkles but like you know prevention is key so yeah now it's like put the leftovers on my hand because you never know like if you go driving always put sunscreen in your car for your hands especially if you live in california because oh my god the sun will make your hands so pruny and then that really does it for most of my face and then i put like my sunscreen balm which is of course tricky to open now because i just put it on my hand but it's a balm i got i got my brows done so it has sunscreen and obviously I have sunscreen on an additional sunscreen so it doesn't fade away and then a lip product either I use a lip max or I use like good old Vaseline but I really like using my lip mask because it'll kind of prep it before my makeup but yeah I highly recommend the book 
the 5 a.m. club. It's really, really good. It's just like really, really inspiring. I like the idea behind it of like waking up early, making sure like you get things you want to get done early in the day or that are hard to do, you get them done first. So working out, obviously prayer and meditation is not hard to do, but it's like, it gives you that reset mindset and also like speaks about taking technology out of the room and stuff, which is like, okay, that's different because my phone's my alarm clock, but like, I'm gonna eventually try it someday, maybe next month, <laughs> but like, it's a really good book. I highly recommend it and so this is my morning routine. I'm either going to, so I'm going to go get ready and I will film my nighttime routine later for you guys. I do have one that's already pre-filmed. I want to see the quality of it and maybe mash it up for you because it's very simple. I don't really do a lot for my nighttime routine besides sometimes I'll put retinol on my, my chest and my back or I will put a little bit like spot spotty amounts on my face but i don't really do a lot because there's no need to i feel like making sure i stay hydrated sweating and obviously like taking my supplements do the internal work which, show, which shows the work outside so i really do like my internal skincare method <laughs> which just allows my topical skincare routine to be a lot lighter a lot friendlier and a lot more simplified. It's not like 20,000 products, but I mean, I obviously enjoy collecting products, but that's just, it's nice. I like to use it, but I don't like to like layer it all too thick, but yeah. So I'm gonna see the quality of that and then I'll add it onto this video if it's up to par. Otherwise I will film the nighttime routine when I get back from dinner tonight. So thank you for watching, stay tuned. Hi guys, so today, so now we're gonna do the skincare routine for the nighttime, which is going to be right before bed. So I already showered, I moisturized with my Nivea Coca Butter. And now, like my face got a little dry, shocker. Whenever I get like kind of dressed and get ready after the shower, I typically just do my body first and then like by the time I'm dressed, my face is like dry, which is totally okay because that's where water is for. And then I usually moisturize with lotion to my neck, even if I do put a little serum on there. But like I have some like acne and back acne scars that are leaving. So I don't put like anything on them anymore like that. So yeah. So first I would go in with my deep cleansing oil. One pump if I have makeup. One pump if I don't have makeup on, two pumps if I have makeup on, so super easy. I like to double cleanse, just, it's just, I like to double cleanse. It's been a long day of like sunscreen and stuff. Obviously like I already got clean in the shower, but I like to do this just, you know, for hydration purposes. But if I do shower, I'll do one form of cleansing, not double cleanse because obviously I already showered, so the makeups or the residue from the day is already taken off. Let's go really, really gentle. Right. Rinse it off. I like to rinse it off my hand first. And then I use a towel to rinse it off my face. It's a lot easier, it's a little bit less messy, and yeah. And I like to use cold water. I try not to pull. <laughs> sometimes you pull and sometimes you don't. But yeah, I finished reading that book, The 5 a.m. Club, and I'm like super excited because it's been hard for me to implement it because I've had like things going on like my birthday and what is it, dinner with friends, and a little date here and there, so it's been like, okay, let's, this week was a little hard <laughs> to do the method, but I'm gonna get back on it and just be a lot more like tough with it. Plus I added like two different supplements into my routine for this year because I wanted 
I wanted to. And I think they kind of made me a little bit tired throughout the day. So I was taking naps. So now I'm going to like re judge them, which I typically do that every now and then. I like to gauge how my body feels. And, you know, you wake up early at 5 a.m., you want it to be an effective day and not tired by noon. But if you're tired by noon, highly, 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 highly recommend taking a nap. Like, a nap is not negotiable. You must take a nap. All right. I feel squeaky clean, but clean. Not squeaky clean, but clean enough. So there's that. Just pat that into the face. Make sure all the oil, like this doesn't get soapy or anything. It just does the work. And then if I had makeup on, I would go in with this one. But since I don't have makeup on, I'm not gonna go in with this one. I just wanted to make sure my my skin was clean. So I'm gonna like dry off my hands. And that's really vital to the skincare routine is making sure you're cleaning your hands in between the steps. What I like to do is my lash serum, it never fails. I'm really on this lash journey, okay? Like, I want my lashes to grow, grow, grow. Love this stuff. And I, like, I don't know if it dries out, but it's been a, it's been about two months now I've had it, and I love it. And then I like to go in with my eye cream. Just a little bit. Because I don't really put my, like, serum on my eye cream. Just a little bit, because it's going to blend with the serum. And then, like, there will be more creams. Yeah, there'll be another cream, not more creams, but there is that. Really simple. I like to go above, but I still have that serum on, so no. And I like my my serum. I like to use like one serum and I either this serum or like I'll use um like a ret retinol serum for my neck, not my face. I don't really use retinol on my face. This is really the only serum I've been using for like months and you can tell it's like almost out it's like i'm very generous with it i like to use like a drop for each each side it's almost out i'm gonna have to go to ulta or target and pick one up last it's like it's like on its last leg <laughs> but i really like it it's very very like vitamin a and it has like glycolic acid so i i keep it away from my eyebrows because i don't want any acid next to my eyebrows because they'll lighten it up so i don't play that at all with my with my look so there's that yeah i'm tired i'm not gonna lie <laughs> there you go so like very, very specific. And then sometimes I'll even put Vaseline on my eyebrows just so I don't go over them with any like skincare products. Obviously like use a different no. This is why I always wash my hands. I don't like cross contamination. I just worry that like, you know, what you use here will go on there, and then you end up with just a blob of skincare that's not where it needs to be. So now I'm not as paranoid if it gets on there. All right, and then with that, it's like it's like a system. It's really simple. Like they're the red ones from Derma E. And this is the oil that comes with it. It doesn't come with it, but it's like a set. And I like sets. It makes it really easy to know what to do. Like, if you're not sure about like a skincare routine, go get one of those gift sets. They typically are the best way to go. And then you can like go from there. And then I like to use that cream. I used to be really generous until I read somewhere. I was like, you might be doing more harm than good um, overdoing the creams. And I was like, oh my God, what? So ever since then, I've been very like, like, what's the word? 
very careful of overdoing it. So I do like two. So pat it. Okay, that's what you guys like to do. <laughs> Put it on my hand, so it's not really con cause contaminating right now because obviously like the routine is over now. <laughs> and now I'm gonna put some oil, and this oil is like rose hip, grapeseed, and vitamin A and E. I don't know if you can read it well, but I like this oil. I've been using it for a long time. This oil has lasted me forever. I wanted to buy some rose hip oil, and then I did, and I realized, why did I just do that? This oil has it in it. That's like the base of this oil. I like to warm it up. You don't have to. It's obviously optional <laughs> to warm it up, but I like to warm it up. I'm very generous with the oil. Just make sure you like, obviously you're sleeping right after this because you don't like do this during the day and have an oily face. That's just weird. <laughs> And then I like to use my lip mask to do that. And this lip mask comes like, has its own kit with like the water mask, but that's like an, an alternative day. Like an alternative day, I would probably just use this and this and call it a day. I wouldn't even use a serum underneath this. You can, but I wouldn't, so yeah. But that wraps up my skincare routine. It's really minimal. It's just like the easiest steps <laughs> ever. Most of my skincare is honestly internal, like I mentioned in my last video. I like to take my supplements, l 